So the subject of this video is launchers. Well I'm just going to do a quick video of like five or six different launchers and show you kind of the popular ones or the ones I've seen which are pretty good for an Android TV box. Now in my opinion there's really only two styles of launchers. One is the Android tablet style launcher and two is like the TV, smart TV media style launcher. Now the tablet style launcher which is like my tablet here is one of the style launchers you can add to your Android TV box if you so desire. Now for me my favorite is the smart TV style launcher but you have to decide what type of launcher you like. Now for tablet styles you, it's going to basically look like this on your TV. So I'm going to be using my Sunveil here and I'm going to show you the stock launcher to different type of other launchers and you can see what you like. Now this is just going to be a quick video. Let me know if there's other launchers that you like that maybe is better than what I have. I would love to see that. Otherwise, let's get to the monitor. So here's the Sunveil's home launcher. When you buy the Sunveil, this is the launcher that it comes with. The good, it's colorful. You have a Kodi button. And you can add more apps with this plus sign over here. And so it's a little bit customizable. The bad is you can't change this black background which is really so dull in my opinion. Also, when you add apps, it doesn't actually give you the name like this YouTube app. There's, it should say YouTube below the app. So if somebody comes and you tell them to open YouTube or something and they're not familiar with the symbols they wouldn't know where to go. So how do you add more launchers? Well you would go to the Google store which I'm gonna go right here and you would type in launchers. When you type in launchers this is what comes up first. Well that is for me. You might have a different window but if you get this Make sure you pick the right Android version you have, like this says Marshmallow, and which is what I'm on right now. So I'm going to pick the Marshmallow, and here is where you'd get more launchers. Now I think there should be more here, so let's see if we're going to go launchers for Android 6 and higher. Let's see if we get more there we go. So you've got more launchers to your disposal and you can install any one. So if you go into like the most popular for everybody is the Nova Launcher. If you go in here you can install which I already have installed and you know you could see what the launcher is going to look like and you can come down and you could see similar apps and you might also like suggestions. I'm going to go back to the home button real quick. Now, the bottom navigation bar has got nothing to do with the launcher you install. If the Android TV box does not come with the bottom navigation bar, when you add a new launcher, you will not get the bottom navigation bar. So, you have to keep that in mind when you buy an Android TV box. So, when you install a launcher you would go into your settings which is the top right here for me and if you have the secondary settings you would go into more settings now once you add a launcher you will get a new category called home which was not there before when I click home you can see the launchers that I installed I've only installed a few launchers just so you could see the difference in launchers and see what you would be which which launcher you would actually like between the tablet style or the TV media style. 
So I'm going to click on Nova Launcher, which is the most popular launcher. People always mention Nova Launcher. And let's see if it's something you would like. So I'm going to click on, and now it's activated. And I'm going to hit the Home button on the bottom navigation bar. So here is the Nova Launcher home page. Now I'm not going to get into specifics on how to customize it, add the background, add more apps, but I just want you to see what a tablet style launcher looks like and this is what it would look like on your TV screen. And yes, it has multiple pages and you can always add more apps, of course, to your launcher. So if this is something you would be interested in, you would have to customize, add more apps. Um, if you don't have a bottom navigation bar, as you can see, you can add like widgets. So if you go to widgets, you could see you can get widgets and so on and so forth. So this is not a bad navigation bar. It's just you have to make sure this is the style you'd like. Okay, so we're going to go back into settings. Oh, I'm sorry. And now we're going to pick another launcher. And this time it's the TV style launcher. And this is Square Home. Now, what's good about this one is you can make these boxes any size you'd like. So if you just pick on one, you can actually stretch and make it larger and you can actually change the background. So this is a really, really nice launcher. I think this launcher does not get enough love. The problem with this launcher is there isn't pages, so if you keep adding more and more apps to the right, it's just going to be a scrolling of the screen it's not going to be like one or two pages which is unfortunate because this would be like one of the best launchers out there if they would have pages but that's just my opinion so this this launcher really nice launcher and I would suggest getting this launcher now let's go to the next one and so that was Square Home Tablet, by the way. All right, let's go to the Light Home Launcher, which is uh, what B-Link's famous Light Home Launcher. And so this is B-Link's launcher called Light Home. And as you can see, you can't change any of these buttons, which is unfortunate. The only thing you can do is add to your favorites. It also has different pages, which is good. So you can see you can get different pages. And you can basically add anything in your favorites over here with the text. And in my opinion, this is my favorite launcher. You don't have to do a lot to it. So if you can get this launcher, I would suggest trying it and seeing if it's something you would like. All right, next. So here's another TV launcher. Where here's another square TV media style launcher where you can actually add as many boxes, well not as many, but you can have these boxes a little smaller and have a few more. I just have it on the default. What I like about this launcher is you can have these categories change to whatever you'd like and you can change the background so if you're going into the mob draw and you click on it you could see that you can add different backgrounds on mob draw hang on so if I pick this one and I hit apply and I hit the home button. Now you can see it's changed. So it's a very nice launcher, although I wish that you could change the boxes to different sizes. It would be a 
they would be probably the number one next to the square launcher. So those are some launchers you could see which ones you like. If you go back into settings, more settings, home, and then like I said before, you can pick any one of these launchers and see which one you would go with. Square Home and TV Launcher, excellent launchers. Nova Launcher, it's a very good launcher. It's a tablet style launcher. I don't like the tablet style launchers on my TV personally. Light Home Launcher, which is already organized for, for me the way I like it. So this is the one I go with most of the time. But, you know, you just have to play around with it. See what you like better. Now, of course, something like this definitely takes a lot of time to set up. But once set up, you are going to really like your setup. Where you can even change the background to whatever you want. So... Hope that helps which launcher you would like. And always remember, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.